And welcome to Richmond Speedway International Raceway, I, I mean. Always gotta make sure. So we're here for another ARCA race and another short track race under the lights. I'll be uh, just watch the Richmond race, but of course, I have to up I'm uploading it. Been uploaded. Uh, never mind. But, uh, here's the command. So the engines fire up. There's Henry Nova, the Reese's. Rookie, uh, the winner at Texas World. So there goes the pace car, and here we go. Getting ready for some short track racing. And Richmond, here we go. Green flag. Curtis leads the field into turns one and two. And let's see if someone can grab that lead. Look at how hard that 09, the 04, everyone behind that 09. Drove in real hard, trying to get to that 77. But looks like he's going to leave the first lap here at Richmond. Here comes Nova now. The 04 kind of fell back. That's Tom Shelley. Here comes Nova. Takes the lead. And Curtis loses control. And he's... Oh, no. At least no one hit him, but the caution is out. She drove it in too hard. And Henry Nova will lead under this first caution flag. Wow. Did not expect that. See, Joseph Curtis... Uh, yep, you can see him getting loose here, and then he tries to go low, drove it in too hard, then controlled it, tried to control it, tried to correct it, but then he plows that wall hard, good thing there's a safer barrier, but that out of that concrete wall, man, that would have been more devastating, that car would have been torn to pieces, wow, the thing got some air too, and that's the only car who... And he actually, man, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't know what to say. He was leading the thing, and now he completely wrecked himself, right into the wall, pretty much putting him out of contention of winning this race. Wait, there's actually more problems. So the 35 actually, he got turned. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, he wait for it. I think it turned just yes, somewhere around this corner. Uh, looks like he got loose too. Did he? He spinning himself around. Uh, oh yeah, went to that uh, really slippery part of the track. No one can control their car there. He takes it. I don't know what made him go there, but now he has some heavy rear end damage. This time we'll take you back. Pace lights are off. 35 drivers still remain on the track. Here we go. There's James, who was so close to winning at t uh, Boston, got wrecked, and that ended the race under caution, and here we go, and oh we got a car blowing up, that's the three of Fisher I believe, yep, yeah, it is, Fisher's in the grass, well he's all the way at the rear of the field, if he stops his car now, I don't think it should be a problem, but he, I, I know he started up front, but oh, here comes the 58 now. He's back in it. Here comes the 10 of Warden Cherry. The aggressive driver. Let's see who's going to be the aggressive driver of today's race, or tonight's race. And there's that 3 on pit road. Makes it all the way around with no problems. Side by side for a lead. Here they go to turns 1 and 2. Oh, the 58 shot up the hill. At least he was able to control it. And then here comes the 77 now. Curtis is now coming out pit road. Here comes Chris Washer in the 8. Now moving into second. The 04 Tom Shelley moving into third. Trying to move into third. He hasn't gotten it yet. Here comes James Shelley. But Sam McMillan is trying to battle. 58, close the door. Oh, we got a caution. Oh man, this does not look good. Caution is out again. The leader is 10. Seth Brown, kind of a three wide action. Well, 
What can I say? It looks like the double zero helped the 17 a bit. So, he spun around actually as well. But then, all oh, these drivers trying to check up. Rewind this. Take a look. I think it was the 06. Yep, he saw the wreck. But then, he lost control. Clipped the 45 and there they go. Into the wall. Well, there's tempers right there. The 82 going around as well. No, no big time damage or anything. I don't think. Any... Can't, I don't know, maybe on the other side, but uh, I'm not sure about that. Well, short track racing. You know what's going to happen. Getting ready for the restart to a three camshaft problem. So the 60 of Nicholas Guerra, who pit it early, puts him in the lead. He pit it on the green until the caution came out. The other drivers had to go down pit road. That puts him as the leader. James Shelley in 2nd, 3rd, Sam McMillan, 4th, Robbie Noser Jr. and 5th, Henry Nova. Only one rookie in the top 5, Curtis up in front, he's a lap down. No, not really. Green flag. He's back out and here comes a 60 trying to get around him. Top, all top 5 drivers, actually no, to make that top, all top, uh, the top 6 are, are fours. But, uh, whoa, here comes the 99, 68. And all those drivers go down pit road. Does the starter gonna charge gonna pull off the road course strategy on the uh, on the short track? I can tell you it ain't gonna work on, on oval tracks because drivers have done that before and it, it never works. Only works for the road courses. Pit on the green. Once that green flag drops, just go down pit road next time by, and that can score you a win. Has it happened? No. But they've gotten good finishes though. So, Nicholas Garrow still got this. Actually, I meant to say two rookies. But in the top five before. Number six of Dean Ricker. He's coming. Whoa! Just tried to stick his nose in. And whoa! On the apron! And whoa! What was that? Who was that? So, was it a 60? Was it the 60 card did that? Yes! Oh man, that can't be. 58th on pit road now. Who's the leader? 99. 09. No. 17. Oh, we got we got another spin. Noodles new leader around. Not been a good season. Actually, not a good first season for him in the Arca series. Well, the caution is out again. The same thing happens to the 60 as it happened to the. Uh, oh, we got a car upside down. And oh, the 58 just hammered it. Seth Brown upside down. As the other drivers make their way around, going down pit road. Uh, let's take a look at the replay. Uh, I think Nicholas just went too fast. He had no one around him, so. Uh, it happened to Curtis, and now it happened to him. He just lost from there and then pam pounds that wall. Just becomes a bad wreck. Curtis goes around him. Now he gets a lap back. You know, this could happen on the final lap. Maybe score someone to win. A lucky win, but we want uh, fast forward this. What happened to Seth Brown? All right, I believe this is a oh, I think I know what happened. The 58 drove way too fast and took the 69 out. Oh man, that thing launches into the air and he goes flying. Oh man, that can't be good. Seth Brown, another driver who's not having a good season in the ARCA series. Um, they're doing alright, I believe, in the other ones, but... I don't know. James Wickard. And then he just gets into the 69 again, blindlessly. I don't know what happened. Maybe he didn't have any power steering after slamming into that 69 like that. Ugh. Trying to hold in a burp. Or that weird feeling that you want to burp, but you don't. Whatever. I don't know. Let's take you back to the restart. So the lights are off. You got uh, five drivers who are up. Three of them who are up ahead are now right in front of the leaders. So they're going to have to start in front of the leaders. So this could be some... So I believe they're able to get past the 58 easily. You know, that's, uh, that's bad for James. He was so close to winning at Boston and then... Rex fell to second. Kale got that win. But uh, 17 is Stuart G, who blew, who broke the camshaft in the in Texas World, 
is now leading this thing and green flag you know kind of wiggled a bit but he's going right past the 58 here on the six is going to take the advantage the five has to back out he knew that six was coming real fast that's dean right there he's coming on the inside the 66 and maybe shelly in third chris scotland fourth fifth and oh contact contact this can't be good number 17 and six is going out the road oh caution's out though saw the smoke so that puts Amy Shelley as the leader. Pace cars out. Let's take a look. Well, that pretty much saved four drivers who were up in front of the leader. But the rookie, the 82, Aliani, just got turned by the 44 and, oh, goes head on into the barriers. Water barriers. Then Noodles gets caught up, I believe. Puts even more damage. Okay, I don't like, I don't really like this track's camera angles. Can barely see them. They got that weird flash, too. I think the 82 wanted to go down pit road and then he got some help from the 44. Don't think she's gonna like that. Wow, big hit for the rookie down the 22. Man, that's bad. That's really bad. Restarting with 10 to go now. Amy Shelley, Chris Kyle, TMG, who wrecked earlier. So Patrick Mew. Brandon Nicholas. Those are your top five. How are they gonna get past the 58 though? Less than 10 to go, so you know that you know what that means. Well actually with 10 to go. 10 or less. So two drivers get a good start because of their because they start in front. Whoa! Damn flash. Kyle makes the move. Clean move. Here comes the 06. Well we got contact back there to 77 and the 10 I believe, I don't know. So up in front is Chris Kyle. Oh, caution is out again. It was, oh no, 52 Bartel. Oh, we got the 99 and the 45. We got more up ahead. I believe the one is spun out. Race it back, race it back. We got some more drivers going down pit road. Whoa, Kyle shut up the hill. Oh, we got the 99 up ahead. Whoa. Man, I thought he lost it or something. So did the 66. Both those drivers lost it. And whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? The 09 of Nova. Looks like he wrecked as well. Let's take a look. More rivalries. Washer in the 45. Well, looks like Washer dumped him where the 45 didn't give him enough room. Try to block maybe. Oh my god. Oh man, that's a big hit. Then come right in front of even more drivers and that just creates a bigger pile up. Oh boy, what a mess. Then you got the one around. That's Ken T, a rookie. And the 58 got collided by faster traffic you'll get penalized for blocking faster traffic nah, uh, they'll just dump you just like that especially short tracks on the one Ooh. just got right into him final restart of the race 28 drivers left on the track Chris Kyle looking for a second win in the Arca series and become the first driver with multiple wins this season and in the series Amy Shelley in second, not having a good season, but she's running in second. She's wrecked a few times, but she's alright. Do they have enough gas? Tim G, who won at Auto Club, he's currently restarting third, who also wrecked with Brandon Nicholas. I think there's going to be a rivalry after this. Jerry Guerra, haven't talked about him, but he's running in fifth. Those are your top five. And there's no rookies except for Brandon Nicholas in the top five. Here we go. Green flag. Amy Shelley spun the tires. This car got away cleanly, but he's gonna catch. He has that good run in the corner. 32 got kind of got loose. Gave the advantage to the 66. Oh, we got a spin. We got a spin. This is over. Final chance. 32 blocks. The 66. Final chance. And no, couldn't make it. Could not make it. Oh no, there's a big crash and the Henry Nova upside down. Big, big wreck. He had no choice. Amy Shelley tried to make the move. Was so close, but looks like Kyle will get the win. Let's take a look. Now you see back there, the 28 got turned. Actually, the 58 again gets tried, gets dumped. But that doesn't really matter. They just spin around. But Kurt, Sam Curtis could not hang on. Locked the brakes, but slid up the track. This is gonna be. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god! 
And he flips himself over, becoming the second driver for now in this race to flip over. But then becomes a big mess as the 09 of Nova had nowhere to go. Plows into the 12. But then here comes the 5. He gets right into him and then he flips over. But then it comes even worse when the 02 kicks in and blasts the 09 up, up into the track. Well, another race, another caution. And, uh, sadly. So, next race will be even more exciting. But, uh, let's take you to the race, show you the race results. Well, Kyle becomes the first driver with multiple wins this season and in the series. And Amy Shelley was very close, but she got a strong second. Yo 6 Tim G was going for his second win, but did not make it. Brandon Nicholas finishes fourth. Fifth, Jerry Guerra. Sixth, PJ Williams. Seventh, PJ Chris. 8th Patrick New, 9th Kyle Thomas, 10th Dylan T. Here's the rest of the race results. 3, 2, 1, now take it to victory lane. But then again, I won, I, uh, who cares about my drivers? Forget about it. Take a look at your point standings. Race winner Chris Kyle goes up 2 spots. DJ Curtis remains in his spots by 13 points. Jerry Gare loses 1. Brandon, Brandon and PJ go up, both of them up 5. Stewart up 1. Tim G up 7. James down three, Dean down one, Annie down seven. But the uh, biggest winner looks to be Amy Shelley with 15 spots. Biggest loser, Raymond Fisher, 13 spots lost. And there's the rest of the point standings. And we'll see you for race six.